Having spent a few weeks testing the Aquasonic Vibe electric toothbrush, I'm here to give you my opinions on it. So I'm gonna jump straight in with the verdict on the Vibe then. Overall, this is an excellent electric toothbrush for the money. It delivers premium brand-like features and functions at a fraction of the cost. If you're not bothered particularly about having a brand leading electric toothbrush, then the Aquasonic Vibe certainly offers a good value option. However, despite there being quite a few positives, it's not all rosy with the Aquasonic. But the niggles are small in the scheme of things, really. Those key niggles are that the product quality is good, but not great. You only get one year of warranty and the color matched brush heads are not available, unfortunately, or certainly not at the time of recording. So let's jump into some of the pros and cons of this electric toothbrush then. So firstly, you've got a number of different color options. You can see here we've got this sort of gray colored uh, toothbrush, which is quite nice. It's nice to have the choice of some different options rather than maybe the more clinical white color, which is pretty standard for an electric toothbrush. You've got multiple cleaning modes, not that you always need different modes, but there are four modes available on this toothbrush out of the box. You've got a dedicated um, cleaning mode button, so it makes it nice and easy to change through the modes. You've got a built-in timer and pacer to encourage you to brush for the dentist recommended two minutes. You've also got good battery life built into the toothbrush as well, which is a positive. You get a good box contents, which includes multiple brush heads and a travel case, which is handy. And ultimately it offers good value for money overall. So to the cons, as I've already indicated, it's the lack of replacement brush heads and particularly color match brush heads. It can be quite hard to find any replacement brush heads on offer from Aquasonic. And those that are available tend not to be in these nicer color or different color options, such as gray, which is a bit of a negative. So you could end up with a white brush head on your gray handle. The quality of materials is okay. Um, it's, it's a bit plasticky and cheap, like this chrome base you can see here, it's, it's all plastic. Um, not a negative for everyone, but it doesn't have the premium in-hand feel as the likes of Philips Sonicare, for example. And then the last major con, if you like, is the warranty. It is just one year. Um, there's no dedicated website for Aquasonic, so I have concerns over the support. Now, some of those concerns I haven't been able to actually validate because I haven't had the brush go faulty on me, but uh, a little bit of communication that I've had gives me a, a few you know, reasons to be concerned about the ongoing support that you might get from Aquasonic. So let's take a bit more of a detailed look at the Aquasonic Vibe electric toothbrush then. So as I've mentioned, there are different color options. Those options are at the time of recording, optic white, charcoal metallic, this gray one you see here, and satin rose gold. So you've got three options in terms of color. It makes no difference to the actual performance or features of the toothbrush, it's just the color of the handles and brush heads that change. So in hand then, whilst the materials don't feel the most premium, the overall toothbrush feels quite good. You know, it's solid, it's got a bit of a rounded design to it, slightly squared off. You can sort of feel a very slight edge, um, but the materials are sort of more of a matte finish, so it's not too slippy. And on the back of the brush handle, there are a number of grips built in, which is nice. It helps the fingertips get a nice firm hold of this toothbrush. So overall, it's kind of pretty, classic toothbrush design um, and I kind of like the way that things have been laid out. We've got a nice large power button on the top here which gives nice tactile feedback. We've got a smaller cleaning mode button which allows us to cycle through the different modes available on this toothbrush. Now this is a sonic toothbrush which means the bristles move side to side like a Philips Sonicare electric toothbrush. So the cleaning experience is comparable to that that you might get from a Philips Sonicare uh, electric toothbrush and you've got this slightly larger sort of oval rectangle brush head. It's not quite as small as the likes of maybe a round oral B brush head. I should just point out one little uh, gripe I have around the box is it says it's an ultrasonic whitening toothbrush. Now this is not an ultrasonic toothbrush. Ultrasonic toothbrushes are a different category of toothbrush. I won't get into all the details on the differences, but this is a sonic, not an ultrasonic toothbrush. And there's nothing specific about this toothbrush that makes it any better at whitening the teeth than 
any other electric toothbrush. Yes, it has a whitening mode, uh, but that doesn't mean it can whiten the teeth any better than another toothbrush. So just be aware of that. The ultrasonic and whitening is, well, it's just poor word choice really to explain this toothbrush. So the brush heads come on and off the brush handle like so. They've got a nice um, secure fit to them. You should replace them every three months. One of the things that makes this brush such good value is the fact that you get eight brush heads included in the box. So you basically don't need to replace any of the brush heads for at least uh, two years if it's just you using this uh, toothbrush. But when it does come to replacing those brush heads, they can be very difficult to source and you may not get the color option uh, available. Now you can get third party options that will fit on uh, to this toothbrush. Basically any brush head that is compatible with a Sonicare toothbrush will fit, but you might struggle to get them from Aquasonic and you may have to pay uh, you know, a slightly more expensive price than you would if Aquasonic made their own. So you've got four cleaning modes on the brush handle here. You've got clean, soft, whiten or whitening and massage. So you can select the mode which is most appropriate for yourself and each mode differs the power delivered to the brush head here and ultimately changes the cleaning action slightly. You can change the mode at any point when the brush is off and when the brush is turned on and you power it on by a single press of the power button here. Now you can probably hear the brush there. And you may just be able to hear how the sound changes on each of the different modes. Each mode is backlit uh, with a white light, which is quite handy. Now, when you do power this toothbrush on, it has a built-in timer and pacer, which helps you brush for the recommended two minutes. At the end of the two minute clean, it will automatically turn itself off to conserve battery and let you know that the two minute clean is over. And at 30 second intervals, you get a slight pause in the brush head movement, which ultimately changes the sensation. And that's your cue to move to different quadrants of the mouth. There is no pressure sensor built in here. So if you do brush your teeth with too much force, you're not gonna be alerted. A little bit of a negative, but it's not a make or break deal by any means. You'll also see here at the bottom of the handle um, a battery status icon. So this gives you feedback about the remaining power in the built-in rechargeable battery, which is nice to see. Some toothbrushes do omit this feature. So at least you do get some feedback on that uh, built-in rechargeable battery. The toothbrush handle is essentially designed to be water resistant. Everything's sort of sealed inside. So a rinse under the tap will be absolutely fine, but don't go submerging this in water. Included in the box, in addition to the charging stand, which I'll talk a little bit more about very shortly, you do also get a travel case. It's a fairly basic and functional plastic travel case, which will hold the toothbrush handle and up to two brush heads. So that's quite nice if you are going away uh, on vacation or anything like that. You can take the toothbrush and a spare head with you if you like as well. And with four weeks or so of battery life, um, you're not gonna have to take the charging stand with you, which is good also. So looking at uh, the battery that's built into this in a little bit more detail then, it's a lithium ion battery built in. Um, so you're gonna get a good battery life. There's a claimed four weeks of battery life from Aquasonic. In my hands-on testing, I actually achieved um, around about five weeks. So a little bit over that four weeks, which is good to see. I like a toothbrush that has a slightly longer battery life than maybe one or two weeks because it means you can go away on vacation. You just don't have to worry quite the same. Included in the box is a charging stand that was actually color matched to this handle. Um, it has a two pin power adapter on it, but the actual charging stand itself is rated for uh, 110 through to 240 volts, which means if you were to travel to somewhere with a higher voltage, say Europe, for example, um, all you need to do is take a plug adapter rather than a voltage adapter with you, which is quite handy. The battery icon on the toothbrush will uh, light up green when the remaining power in the battery is above 20%. When it gets below approximately 20%, it will flash red to kind of alert you that you need to charge it soon. When you do sit it on the charging stand, it can take up to a full 24 hours to charge this fully. But if you need to use it sooner than that, you can take it off the charging stand. So to the price then of the Aquasonic Vibe. Now, of course, prices are always subject to change. So this is just an approximate guide uh, and is as accurate as possible at the time of recording. The typical selling price for the Aquasonic Vibe series is around about 55 Canadian dollars. 
which at $55 is actually pretty good value for money when you consider what you get in the box. Now, if you were to price that over a three year period, as we like to do here at Electric Teeth, to try and give a little bit of a benchmark as to the overall value in comparison to the competition, it works at around about $62 or six cents per day uh, to actually own the Aquasonic Vibe, which reconfirms how good value this really is. Now, one thing to bear in mind in terms of actually owning um, this toothbrush is although you get eight brush heads included in the box, the availability of replacement brush heads, particularly from Aquasonic, is difficult. Um, so you may need to source alternatives that may not be color matched to your brush handle. Prices and everything can vary, but if you can find brush heads that fit Philips Sonic Air toothbrush handles, you should find that they will fit the Aquasonic toothbrush without an issue. So the Vibe is cheap in comparison to uh, the competition. Products like the Philips Sonic Air Protected Clean 4100 may still be worth consideration as long term it could potentially be the better buy for some of the benefits that you get, uh, particularly the more recognizable brand name and associated quality. At the time of recording, you're gonna find that the Aquasonic is not available from local pharmacies or grocery stores or things like that. You are gonna to have to go online, primarily through amazon.ca to make this purchase. Um, so if you do wanna get hold of this, just be aware that you need to head online to Amazon more often than not to actually purchase it. I've not come across a specific Aquasonic website where they're selling it direct. Um, so yeah, that's something to bear in mind also as well. So to conclude, the Aquasonic Vibe is a perfectly satisfactory electric toothbrush that I could happily use on a daily basis. It's good value and it has essential features like a timer and pacer built in, and it also has those value added extras such as the extra brush heads and the good battery life. It is let down a little bit by the product quality and potentially the reliability and the methods that you have to go through to access that support. You can find more details about this in the review linked in the description below. You may wish to consider the Philips Sonic Air Protective Clean 4100 as an alternative, as I think that may provide a better long-term buy. Of course, the choice is yours, and hopefully this review has helped you come to a conclusion. If you found this video useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, click subscribe. But until next time, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.